I'm creating Raspberry Pi desktop. I already gave Raspberry Pi 400 mechanical keyboard upgrade, and I created Raspberry Pi Ultimate Computer inside mechanical keyboard. For this project I need Raspberry Pi, 3D printer and screen. It is dead. How convenient. It has very good Full HD screen. It will be perfect for Raspberry Pi desktop. Let's remove screen. It says don't touch. I think I need something soft. Here is the screen. It's very thin and light. And here is model name for LCD controller board. Ordering LCD controller board. And while I'm waiting, I can go and make 3D models. For screen, I just need to make case. Prusa slicer can split in half. These metal holders on the top of the screen are not needed. I remove them. Let's try the first half of the case. It does not go well. I opened it and it was mistake about 2 mm. This is first prototype. It never works first time. How are people in old times able to make prototypes without 3D printers? Maybe they used brain. The final version will be red. It takes some time to remove carefully support material. Let's try this version. This go well. This is the second part. With hole for the ribbon cable, it goes here. Perfect. For this tilt mechanism, I made this prototype. These screws are too small and it's not enough friction area. Take a look. Boom. I was too optimistic to hold screen with small screws. I need something bigger, like this. This will be a hinge to tilt the screen. Double-sided sticky tape. I'm applying with some distance from the edge, so it will not be visible. Three lines are more than enough for a strong grip. Buttons. They are using too much space. I need them only for initial setup, so I will just leave hole for the port. Connecting ribbon cable. Ribbon cable goes here, extra help is needed. And here I need to make some origami with ribbon cable. This is temporary sticky tape. So the ribbon cable will go from the center. Plastic has a low coefficient of friction. I'm using an M6 bolt here. Bolt tension can be adjusted with a screwdriver later. The prototype version of the case with the stand was not looking stable. One millimeter for the bottom layer is not enough at all. Improved red version. Raspberry Pi will be held with four screws. Here. Looks good. And on another side will be an LCD controller board. The buttons can be plugged in here if ever needed. Most likely not. Now I can join the bottom case with the screen. And again origami with ribbon cable. This is compact HDMI cable, plug-in Raspberry Pi and LCD board. Power for Raspberry will be plugged in inside. This phone will be idle most of the time. It is connected to these pins and enabled phone control if the temperature is more than 80 degrees. There is a mount on the top cover here, slide in. Short test. The screen power and now Raspberry Pi power. The fan will spin for several seconds on the boot. And then it goes into the idle state. This piece will cover screen cable. 
it looks almost finished. I left open the rear side for good airflow. This temporary tape can be removed and plastic cover will protect the cable. And from other side for symmetry. It looks much better now. Total weight 557 gram. Okay, wireless mouse goes here. Wired keyboard, raspberry. And final step to connect screen power. Yay! This is how the first working prototype was looking. And this is the final red version. I left HDMI port accessible, so it can be used as a monitor. For example, I can connect Mac Mini, just connecting HDMI. Or it can be used as a second monitor. Raspberry Pi desktop, done. What will be the next project? Bye! That really took some time to make this tilt to work. And it's tiny. Really cool. Bye.